Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Oke Doke, where today we're going to be doing something a little bit that we've done in the past, okay? So without further ado, without any more dele dele, we will go and start the intro. Roll it! Now let me give you some backstory to what made me want to do this now we were sitting in our board meeting yes we have board meetings with derek and sopa dopa and and myself yes and we planned the videos there and pretty much i had an idea that was very brilliant from a while back where i would call the chamas again and based on the title of this video i know that you know what it is about but it is not a computer scam at this time it is a Infamesian scammer, okay? So I'm going to sound very adult and I'm going to sound very foreign Then I'm going to misplace words and do stuff that I already do on my channel okay? So without further ado, let us get the number and the digits and let us see what is going on Eventually. Okay, so now I'm calling the Chniki Chniki Chamas I do not hear anything Hello? How can I help you? Have I called the right number? Yeah? Uh, I got this number from my inbox. I just, I don't know what it is about, but they told me to call you back. Okay, sir. You have reached this call on Social Security Administration Office. This is Officer Donald Jefferson, and this ID number is JS. Seven nine eight six two three is my page ID number. Sir, can I know your first name and last name? Okay, my my first name is Oke. Can I know your first name and yes, last name? Yes, that is my first name. O K E E A. It is an African name. Yes, sir. What is your last name? Okay. My last name is Wangere. How do you spell, sir? W A A N G E I R E A. Wangere. Okay, sir. Okay, so can I know your date of birth? My date of birth? Okay. Yes, it sir. is it is February twentieth, yeah. nineteen ninety nine. Okay. Okay, so I've muted them. Basically, it is a social security scam. They're trying to get your social security number so someone else can use it that has bad criminal records because social security numbers are not tied usually to your picture, so you can switch them off if you are very, very sneaky. Social security number. Can I verify? Okay, uh, it is three, two, eight. Five, seven, three, two, eight. Sir, from the beginning, can you tell me properly? I can't get your voice. Very boring minutes later. Six, one, three, and then another three. So you have two long social security number. What? I had to end the call. So I have to call another number because uh, they have cut on to me, okay? That it was not a real one. They are um, a scammers based in India and they are trying to get my numbers to be very sneaky and devious and stuff like that. So I'll get back to you with another one and let us see what is going on. Five minutes later. Okay, so in this time we're going to try a car insurance one and let us see what kind of 
chickeners are going to hand me, okay? We're gonna see, we're gonna head out to some chopper slaps today. Okay, so before they answer, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. Never mind, they're on the line. Hello, thanks for calling the warranty division. This is Daryl. Hello, um, I got this number from the, the, the voicemails on my, my phone. Okay. And it told me to call it back. Oh, really? What, what does that mean? Okay, do you own a vehicle? Yes, I do. Okay, can you verify the year, make, and model of the vehicle, and I'll be happy to explain everything to you. Okay, it is a 2007 Mercedes C300. Okay, so it's a 2007 Mercedes C300? Yes. And how many miles do you have on that Mercedes? About a thousand. About a hundred thousand? Yes. Okay. So the reason that you got the call, ma'am, is because you're outside of factory coverage on the vehicle. This is an opportunity to put protection on the vehicle so you don't have to pay for future mechanical repairs out of pocket. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. That sounds nice. That sounds okay, now, okay. Now, let me ask you this. I'm on the Well, just last week I was exiting my driveway and the, the, the oil was leaking and my neighbor was, was pointing at me like a, like a ferocious goat and was telling me what, I was wondering what they were talking about and then I was checking behind me and I found a whole valita of oil. I don't even know what is going on. Really? Yes. But what if I fix it and then I come back to you guys? You see, once you have it taken care of, you can give us a call back and we'll be happy to look over it for you, okay? <sighs> okay. Wait, can I, before I leave, can I, tell, uh, can I ask where you're based off of? Where are we based? We're based out of Houston, Texas. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I will see you. Very rude, you know, it is their job to make customer service very, very, very nice experience. But okay, so that scam was for car insurance. They wanted a perfectly good car to cover and they wanted a good scam off of it. Now, at one point, they would repossess your car through contracts and very shady business deals. And they would come up to you and just take the car and re leave you with no compensation. It's basically a pyramid scam. It can be found either out of country or in country. So it is, it does vary. And I'm actually going to search up the numbers uh, area code, which is why I asked for the location, because it wasn't a 1-800 number or a 888 number. I knew it was our area code number because that number was too jumbled. Okay, I need to find out where it is from. Okay, so give me a minute for that. A lot of boring math later. Okay, so it is an in-house pyramid. Uh, um, What is it? In-house pyramid... Steam. It is a local business because local businesses are usually the ones to take local numbers. So if you search here, it is Houston, Texas, the area code that we were just given. And it was either spoofers from other countries or they actually got their math right or their local business. But they were charming nonetheless because no car insurance does not give you extended warranty for any vehicles, manufacturing or... Um, useless troubles because you're legally supposed to have insurance for your vehicle it is a law in a lot of places as including this state that i live in right now so that is shooting stuff so anyway because these people make me hangry and you know i'm, I'm also hungry because you know it's, it, it 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 works on my nerves i'm going to end off this episode and i'm going to shout out some people right now uh some people that have been watching my content some people that have been through some stuff that some people that haven't been commenting on my videos nonetheless but i want to give out 
you know, awareness. So there's a Tristan Howard vlogs. Go to check it out on the YouTubes. He is doing some amazing mobile gaming right now. There's Loopy Doopy that I always mention. He's always in the description below if you guys wanted to see him. I will put him specifically on the iCard of this video at this current moment because he's such an amazing shooting star. And he's a friend of mine, of course. And, you know, it's just, I wanted to thank you guys as a whole. Please, please comment, subscribe, share, like. Just do whatever you can. Please, you know, I, I, I strive. I came from Kenya. Derek came from, even, okay, the Super Duper came from. This is a Kenyan broadcasting, okay? We are, we, just one like a day can help us in our old country home. Anyway, apart from that, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye, okay? Hey, yes, so I'm sounding like a scammer myself with my voice.